everyone to this episode of Detroit Class 313, TV 33 WHPR Detroit. I'm your host, True Johnson, and this is Dee Dee Morgan. And we are here with the special guest today, Mr. T. Pablo. How are you today, Mr. T. Pablo? I'm fine. Welcome How are you doing? to the show. Thank How are you? you? Thank you. How are you doing? I want to um, tell you that this episode is brought to you by. Vocal Mob Magazine. Mr. Loman, how did you start becoming the executive producer of Detroit Class 313? Well, it started like this. I'm a musician, and I write music. And as a hobby, I would put music on all the free social medias, Facebook, MySpace, Reverb Nation, SoundCloud, and I would test it on people to get feedback. And then one day, uh, the founder of the Detroit Black Music Awards, Misty Love, called me and said my song was nominated. Well, I was taken by surprise because I don't sell any music. And, uh, and uh, be, as a consequence of that, I uh, uh, was uh, starting to get a lot of requests for my music. And then one day, uh, about a week later, Misty Love called me and said that uh, a Mr. Barry Ross that has a TV show wanted me to do his TV show. And I was again surprised because I uh, wasn't prepared and they only gave me three days. And, and I'm already in a band, okay? My band appears at uh, Burt's uh, Eastern Market every Saturday night mm -hmm. and we do cover music and because we do cover music they don't know my music it's all okay. original music all right. so um, uh, she uh, called she said okay he wants you on the show here's his number give him a call so I called Barry Ross he said yeah man I love your music uh, come and do my show and um, and so uh, I did it. Yeah, I say, well, I can't bring my band because we don't know it. They don't know my music. He said, well, that's okay. Uh -huh. We we want you to pantomize, like the old days, Dick Clark. We want you to pantomize. I said, okay. So me not knowing my own music like that because I write music inspirationally, I had to, uh, I had to, uh, I had to. Uh, 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 Relearn my music. Oh, all okay? right, all right. And, and, and I understand practice that. it and study it. So when I came on the show, and I did it, and I pantomimed, but it looked like I was really playing this music live. Uh, the next week at Burst, it was packed. Okay, mm. I'm like, wow. But but back at the studio after the show, that day, uh, uh, I, I I ran into Hodo. It was a friend of mine. He was the director. He's still the director, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, he asked me, uh, uh, how did I like everything? And I told him it was great. So uh, we started talking about uh, me doing a TV show and talking about how much, what did it take to do it. And I, it piqued my interest because I already had an idea from way back. If I had a TV show, what would I do? And so that's how I got into it. And I, I decided to pursue it. Okay, so... Mr. Loman, Mr. Pablo, will you please tell us what exactly made you come up with the concept to have a show that would bring solutions to women's everyday issues? Well, that's a good, good question. When I was uh, coming up in Detroit, um, I came up in an environment where um, uh, the women were matriarchs. Right. They, they, basically mm -hmm. control the system that we lived under yeah, yeah. meaning that uh, you you weren't allowed to uh, 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 do things that embarrassed your community mm -hmm. uh, I come from a community of proud black people the community I grew up in was basically controlled by blacks it was called Rollo Township it was off eight miles on the side eight miles okay. all the store owners were basically black the mayor was black the police were black I went to George Washington Carver School. Mm -hmm. I, knew, uh -huh. I know everything about a peanut you can uh -huh. think of. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so I had longed for those days because in today's community, you don't see that. Right. Um, right. Uh, right. The, the women back then had a code of ethics. Uh, 
you couldn't go down the street and mess with Susie B because she was single mm -hmm. and come back home because everybody would know about it. Mm -hmm. um, you uh, it, 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 and also uh, one of the things I, I saw that disturbed me was that women had uh, had adopted a philosophy. Not all of them, but a lot of them had adopted a philosophy that any man is better than no man. Uh -huh. um, I have daughters and I have granddaughters and I, I don't want them to have to go through that. So I said, well, uh, 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 I, I would like to, if I had a TV show, mm -hmm. it would be geared towards solutions for women's Women. issues. Mm -hmm. yes. Now what really made me really come up with that, that really sealed the deal was when I went to a, a cousin's, a relative's house in West Bloomfield. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I was going in, he, he was coming out. Okay. And I said, well, where are you going? He said, well, I'm going to a meeting there that we heard it was a crack house in the neighborhood. I okay. said, well, in West Bloomfield, everybody driving Bentleys and, and Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, excuse me, he said, don't worry. Right. Every day that crack house is open, no man in this town is going to eat or make love to his wife. Oh my God. He said, he said they would get out in the street with pitchforks and torches like it was Frankenstein mm -hmm. before they allow a crack house to exist where their children, little girls couldn't play hopscotch and boys couldn't play baseball because it's a crack house, crack, crack addicts walking down the street. Right. So I say, wow, when I thought about that and I thought about how I grew up, he was absolutely right because um, I got 10 brothers okay. at mm -hmm. one time. Mm -hmm. They're not all here now, but uh, my mother's house had to be spick and span <laughs> before we could eat. So, <laughs> so okay. you believe that uh, a happier woman makes for a happier world? I do. Okay. So the Detroit, you hear it first here on Detroit Class 313. This show is for you ladies. It's all about for the you. solutions. To your everyday issues we're not going to ponder on the problems we are here to provide solutions for you so we're going to go to a quick break and we'll be right back with mr t pablo dd morgan and i'm your host true johnson and you are watching detroit class 313 we'll be right back open plus shipping call 1-855-20 shower call 1-855-20 shower order yours today Welcome back to Detroit Class 313. And we're here with T. Pablo Loman, the executive producer of Detroit Class 313. And I had a question in my mind, Mr. Loman. Um, I see that Detroit Class 313 had a lot of hits. Were most of those women? <laughs> what did they have to say? No, those hits were uh, on the website. I put the website up uh, about a month and a half ago. Half ago, mm -hmm. and uh, within a month and a half, I had twenty thousand hits. Wow! And uh, I got a call, and uh, uh, I was told that my my show was interesting, and I was invited to the. Uh, producers of radio and TV uh, show. Beautiful. Uh, and, and so, yeah, I'm happy about that. Are you used to it yet? No, I'm a musician, <laughs> and uh, this is something new, but because it was close to my heart, uh, again, my mother always told me if you take care of women and children, you would be blessed. And so, uh, this is all new to me, and I'm enjoying it because it's my passion now. Uh, I really do believe that uh, women have a lot of uh, uh, answers and solutions to what's going on in the community. As a matter of fact, uh, I started off with a couple of guys to help me out. And uh, one of them had been in a couple of businesses with me. And when he realized I appointed a female as a vice president, I got a call the next day and he told me that he didn't think he'd be part of it. So um, what I found is that they felt that I didn't include men enough. Well, I looked at it like this. When I look at my community today, if we, were in, if we are in charge, we're not doing a good job. <laughs> so I said, what we're going to do, we're going to give it to the women. We're going to find out what's they, what they want. How do they feel about themselves? And let's cater to that as opposed to we're going to tell them how their life should be 
or how mm-hmm. things should be. We're going to ask them what do they want out of life, and let's provide it. And I do believe that if we do that, we'll even men, we'll be happy. If y'all happy, I believe we'll be happy. I, I think you're right. I think you're yeah. right, Mr. Loman. I, I feel, yeah, I do. I feel like if, 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 women, if women are happy, our community would be more beautiful. It would be mm-hmm. more flowers. Little girls would be able to play out again. Men would be more willing to protect as opposed to sell drugs. I mean, I'm not saying all men do that, but we got men that's drug dealers mm-hmm. more so than women. I mean, everybody does it. Or men uh, uh, rape and, and, and things like that. I'm mm-hmm. sure there's some women that do it, but it's basically men doing all this bad stuff. So don't tell me I shouldn't give it to women when we had the opportunity and I'm a man I'm not putting myself down I just realized I haven't did a great job myself we aren't doing the things we need to do and we're just going to see what the women are talking about and then maybe we'll get together and provide protection. So tell us Mr. Loman what is it that women can gain from watching Detroit Class 313? One I feel that my show touches on issues that concerns women so what I do, what I want to do is, each time we have a show, yes. have a topic, whether it's health, okay. education, uh, social security, real estate, mm-hmm. hair, nails, husband, babies, whatever. Right. And um, we'll hear, based on that, what we need to provide to help you attain those goals. Okay. Um, uh, I also believe that... Uh, if we if we uh, allow uh, uh, women to come together and um, offer offer solutions, come together with, mm-hmm. with yeah, we're not only going to offer solutions, but we want to help women with businesses. Okay, you know we want to we want to we want to help you because look at look at what, what the political environment is about. They don't want you to That's pretty much most access to abortions, or, right. uh, family planning. That's right, and, and it's bothering me. So you, you want know. women to be able to make their own decisions more, um, to be heard more. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, women basically, I believe, make their own decisions, but we want to make sure, or we want to help facilitate them making educated decisions. Okay. That's why we bring mm-hmm. experts in the field of the topics mm-hmm. yes. that we're talking about, yes. doctors, lawyers, mm-hmm. whatever. Okay. And again, like you said at the beginning of the show, we don't talk about problems. Problem. We already exactly. know what the problem is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're going to provide solutions. Yes. Like I tell my daughters or whoever, my kids, they have a problem. I say, well, what's the solution? And when they start going in opposite di- directions, that's, that's, that's not solution. You solutions. bring them back bring to them right the back. issue. Now, yes. the solution may be uh, a situation where you have to sacrifice something, okay. mm-hmm. give up something, uh, uh, do something different. Mm-hmm. Tough. That's the solution, that's though. That's the solution. If mm-hmm. you want to change, you, you have to, to focus on yeah. the solution. If you, keep, right. if you keep repeating and doing the same thing, you're you going to get the, the same, same results. results. Okay. The definition of insanity okay. is when you do the same thing and look for different results. That's the definition of insanity. And sometimes I think we're going insane. Because we keep doing the same thing. That's right. and, and we talk. I look at all our That's politicians, right. all our uh, 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 preachers, and they'll always rehash problems to us. Okay. And, and they would never offer up a solution. So my mission from this point on is to bring solutions to issues that's concerning the, the women in our community. So how can our women, the viewers, be a part of the show? Their opinions be heard, the things that our viewers want to hear, how can they be a part of that? Okay, on our website, on our website, we have uh, a, a box that you can fill in. Okay. Uh, www.detroitclass. 313.com. Let me say it again. www.detroitclass313.com. You go there. We have a, a suggestion form you can fill out. Okay, okay. We have a, a P.O. box. That if mm-hmm. you want to write me, okay, you great. Can write. Okay, great. Thank you okay. so much. We have That's to go wonderful. to a quick break. Um, we, we'll, we'll be right back. You're watching Detroit Class 313, TV 33, WHPR, and we are here with Mr. Pablo, Didi Morgan, and I'm True Johnson, and we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Zero shower. Welcome back to Detroit Class 313. We're here with T. Pablo, our dynamic executive producer. So, 
I, I would like to know, and I, I have a feel for this show already. I, I'm just really blessed to be on this show. Where do you expect this show to go? I expect this show to go wherever women are. As a matter of fact, on the website, we have a uh, international women's issue form that we are linked into. We're also linked into the Michigan National Organization of Women. I want this show to reach every female on the planet because uh, I just want them to know that any man is not better than no man. Uh, you need to absolutely consider yourself valuable. Right. If a, my grandfather wanted my grandmother so much, he built three houses with his bare hands, okay? <laughs> so if a woman, if a man is not willing to, as, as, as uh, Chaka Khan say, to the fire, through the fire, to the wall, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. That's yes, what it's exactly. going to take. Right. That, and my daughter, Amarachi, who is a producer for my show, mm -hmm. I tell her that all the time. Your, you, your body is valuable. That's right. Don't give it to anyone <laughs> unless he's like your dad. No. All right. I, I, worked, I worked all my life. I worked all my life. And the things that I did as a musician was when I had time. But my job came first because I had children. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. And so that's, 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 that's where I'm at. That's excellent. Uh, well, what, where, what would you have to say to women that have low self-esteem right now? What, well, when I, what I don't want to do is become an expert on women. Because I'm not. Right. I can only go by what my mother say. Do for women and children and your life will be blessed. I do not get in the way of a woman's ideas, her dreams. I don't care if she's my wife. I'm going to support whatever she do because I want her to be happy so I can be happy. I don't need to come home to a right, mean wife. Right, okay? right, right. But um, what was the question again? <laughs> I was asking about what do you want to say to women who oh. have so oh. such low self-esteem only thing i can say to them is watch the show because we will have experts to help you whatever your issue is exactly. whether it's education whether it's right. employment whether it's taxes and one of the things i do want to hit on women should be prepared for when the man is gone whether it's through death divorce or whatever got to protect yourself while you marry that is and if you don't like if your husband got to go with it because if he cared about you he would voluntarily and say baby we got to protect you just in case I'm not here anymore mm -hmm. so All so right. what you're saying mr. Pablo is that you want women to use this show as a tool to live better lives and become better women well if not necessarily as a tool mm -hmm. but just as another uh, uh, source of information another source that of they can go to on any on Thursday nights right now I want to go every night where I want my show to go it's every night, every night. <laughs> but right now it's every Thursday night I want you to tune in and we will probably well you know probably we will have a guest that will hit on an issue that vitally concerns a woman so if they if they tune in and, and they watch the show and they listen to our professionals are you saying that the, the information that they receive from us can help them live a better life I or maybe hope, become a better person? I hope so hope because so. I've learned a lot in the short time we've been on the air about women and we had a doctor, what was her name? Dr. Dr. Tina, Dr. Dr. Tina, Tina, Tina yes. Parkman. Mm -hmm. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous yes, doctor. That lady. wonderful show. Uh, yes. she, she, she imparted some information yes, she did. that uh, I found Helped to be. Helped women out with relationships and um, different issues yeah. yeah dr tina that that was a wonderful show we appreciate you for bringing yeah, dr I, tina on oh dr tina she was she was, she was fabulous wonderful. so do you even believe doc, even mr Searles. oh mr Searles, that mr. was a wonderful Searles show wonderful. Yeah. thank you for mr Searles. Yeah. so you believe that um if if the woman is happy the home is happy of course <laughs> <laughs> okay. i know when my mother when my mother was happy we was cool okay. when my mother was mad we went we dodged for cup Okay. I remember my dad told me, say, son, you want to know about a woman? Keep an eye on your mama. And my mama could throw a shoe around the corner. Right? Uh -oh. I was like, oh, Lord. Wow. <laughs> well, we don't want to throw any shoes, guys. We don't want to throw any shoes. So we want, again, ladies, well, I, I want you all out there to know when you're ready to pamper yourself, I want you to visit 
our people in the Greenfield Plaza at Dial Face Studios. Tia, thank you so much for the beautiful makeup, the eyebrow arch, and the lashes. And I want to thank you, Brandy, so much from Erin D'Angelo, the salon on Six Mile between Greenfield and Southfield. That number is 313-459-5410. Thank you, Brandy. I love you. And I want to thank Vocal Mob for being a sponsor of tonight's thank show. You, Vocal Mob. Let's hear from Vocal Mob. Thank you, Vocal Mob. <laughs> thank you, Vocal Mob. Vocal and Mob thank you so much, Mr. Pablo. Okay. We appreciate you for thank this you. show right. and this opportunity. And ladies, make sure that you all get your mammograms. This is Cancer Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so we want you all to stay healthy. So please stay up on your test, your mammograms, and shout out to all the cancer survivors and peace to those who didn't survive. We love you all. We love you for we thanking you. you. Oh. Thank you so much for letting us and thank you. Can I give another shout out? Yes. I want to give a shout out to Burt's. Burt's. Burt's in the Eastern Market. <laughs> That's, that's the man. Thank you yeah. so much for um, inviting us into your home. You are watching Detroit Class 313 TV 33 WHPR Detroit. I'm your host, True Johnson. And, and this I'm is Dee Dee Morgan. And Mr. Pablo Loman. Yep. T. Pablo, T. Loman. Pablo Loman. And I dedicate this show to my grandson, Karan. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you, Detroit. We love you. <laughs>